With LEGO City, we always aim to represent the reality of the world in a way that is fun, positive and appropriate for kids. With this in mind, we have decided not to launch this product as we no longer feel it is in keeping with the values of the LEGO City brand. I'm sorry, what? See this set right here? This is called the Crooks Hideout from LEGO City. It was shown in this graphic in the catalog some time ago, everybody noticed it and it was considered an official leak by LEGO and now this set is officially cancelled. I think it was actually pretty cool, it had a giant dynamite on the top of the roof which wasn't really hiding the purpose of this place and the crooks, crooks were hiding there. Crooks which were visible in all the city police based sets, in all the city undercover and the latest Whatever it was, city and police, uh, police and crooks in the Lego city were present and, and fighting each other in this cartoony way with a very cartoony uh, depiction of violence, I guess, because that's like what Lego is actually looking at right now uh, for ages and uh, there was never a problem uh, because of that. Okay, so this set was actually part of the instruction manual for the Heart Lake City shopping mall and that were, that were people spotted in the first place, so correct. That's a little correction right here. Anyway, this is weird in the simplest of explanations. I don't even know how to relate to this, how to build my opinion. You know, Lego sometimes, lately especially, the communication is kind of weird. Uh, I don't, is that set depicting the violence too much? Is that because it refers to an exploding dynamite? Is that because those can be considered a weapon of sorts? I do not know, because we don't really know the Legos... Um, as per company, their own agenda when it comes to what can be considered a weapon in the set, what can be considered promoting violence and what not. And I understood that we are in the form of, of the cartoonish realm. We are in the cartoonish realm of depicting things in LEGO sets. LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Marvel, LEGO City, even the, the, the Ever never ending conflict between police and the crooks in the city. They're hiding in, you know, tree stumps, they're hiding in the mountains, they're drifting in the barrels by the river. There's all two there's a lot of cartoonish things to it, so it's not worse or, or crazy as much as I don't know, Bugs Bunny cartoons are or Tom and Jerry violence. In my opinion, and many people's opinion who just see those sets and see parents and kids playing with them for ages now so this decision is one of the weirdest i've seen lately and you know don't get me started on this thing because it's we can compare the cancellation uh, to this beautiful set the osprey was cancelled not that long ago uh, i think the magnitude was different that was a licensed military vehicle the lego tried to explain it the way they did it was terrible because it was cancelled basically a week before it was supposed to be launched the boxes were already waiting on the shelves for people to pick up and uh, everything was gone so people were probably waiting more for the set than they are for the crooks hideout nevertheless i think it's a bit of a overreaction once more maybe not as damaging or weird and will not spin as much of a community discussion as the osprey did but in the end this is cancelling something that we kind of i mean i didn't have this set on my plate i didn't have this set on my uh, to buy list but many people were saying that this might be one of the coolest sets from lego city coming out in the near future so still like that's gonna make some people upset and we're gonna probably discuss a lot why is this discussion or situation even happening because we really don't know why lego is going for this again last minute i think at this point looking at the osprey situation and things like this happening right now in seems like no no theme can be actually uh safe from this because as long as there is something uh, maybe remotely considered as a real world uh, depiction of violence i think lego is going after it right now but why died, are they doing this so late in the process? Why is this actually happening as the sets are probably in the manufacturing process, being printed in catalogs and whatnot? Uh, extreme example of the Osprey being in the shelves waiting for uh, people to buy them. I don't really know. I think at this point, uh, probably it's not the, 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 the first and the last, it's not the first and it's also not the last set to have this treatment from Lego. I wonder what's gonna be next. And actually, if I want to just conclude this video, I want to see um, maybe LEGO going forward a bit and communicating with their core audience or with their fans. What are the actual bannable violations or what are 
the, the rules that they're abiding by that we don't really fully understand. Um, will we be seeing something from Marvel or from Star Wars cancelled in that way in the future? More like a, more of an impactful licensed IP in the future? That's the big question right here. You know, a city set may not really blink an eye on anyone, actually, because, you know, some people were waiting for it, but it's not that big of a deal. The Osprey was much bigger of a deal, but what if, what if in the future there's like, oh, there's like a, a Death Star coming, and now like, oh, we're canceling the Death Star just because it says death in the Death Star. I have no idea. What do you guys think? This Is this uh, a, a threat to the future lineups, and where is the line that, you know, LEGO... Uh, sees as, as following the values and not following the values of their own brand, which we still don't really fully understand. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it was an interesting point of uh, discussion today, as I noticed some YouTubers were reporting on it and I wanted to really, uh, throw my quick, fresh uh, impression and opinion right away. And uh, I want to see what your guys' opinion is. The comment section is open below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit the like, subscribe, do all those things that help me grow my channel. And I'll see you in the comment section and in the next video. Peace out. Bye.